Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling and thanks for checking out the video, much appreciated. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about how pro anglers use the bathroom in the boat. Um, actually, this was one of the first videos I did like two and a half years ago, but we've got like 95,000 more people on the channel that haven't seen it and um, I wanna sort of go over that a little bit because I actually I've had several comments about people just curious about that. So I'm gonna give you some tips and advice and some uh, uh, some you know experiences I've had with it so I think it might be an interesting video but man right now guys for the next uh, three or four days I'll be doing videos from on the road we're heading to Colorado Springs uh, Owen has a weightlifting competition we're heading out there and I'm telling you right now driving in the truck with a six-year-old a nine-year-old and a 14-year-old uh, it will wear you out so you know it's dragging a little bit right now Anyway, guys, for, real quick before we get started here, I just wanted to remind you about our Father's Day sale on the Solar Bat Series, my signature series RB2 sunglasses here. They've extended the sale to the end of the month, and if you buy a pair uh, by the end of June, you can get 30% off on my glasses here. I'll put the Solar Bat link in the description. And just real quick, why you should buy Solar Bats. Number one, they're designed, they're built everything by an optometrist, bass angler, Gary Nesty owns the company. The optical clarity of these lens and the lens component quality is second to none. That's what you're paying for. Um, frame design, super comfortable. You can wear it all day long. Don't even know it's on there. It stays on your face. They're just awesome glasses, guys. So I'll put the solar bat link in the description and get you a pair there. Okay, guys, using the bathroom on the boat, man. This is something if you're a fisherman, you're going to have to deal with this at some point. And it's it may sound simple, but actually there's quite a bit to it because there's a lot of different variables involved in it. There's the lake that you're fishing on, how busy it is, how rough the water is. There's just a lot going on to that. So first of all, let's talk about a, you know, the tournament situation or not. In a tournament, it's perfectly legal. Uh, if you have to get out of the boat to use the bathroom, it's legal. I mean, that's one of the stipulations they put in there that you can leave sight of your partner if you have to use the bathroom. And the first thing I want to say about this is, is there's a couple, two different things. Number one, don't be embarrassed if you have to go, because we all have to go. You can't stop that. And every single person out there has levels of privacy that is sort of unique to themselves. So some people may not care. Some people may be really, really, uh, uh, you know, nervous about using the bathroom around somebody else. So you have to respect that level of privacy that somebody needs. There's one dude on the circuit, you guys that fish the FLW2 or the Bassmaster know who I'm at. It's like this dude didn't, it didn't matter who was around. Every tournament, it's like he, I guess he would, he was on some type of schedule with his bowels and we'd be sitting out there, there'd be a hundred boats floating around out there getting ready to take off. You know how guys do before the takeoff in the morning. He'd just drop his pants down and hang it over to the side of the boat and go to and go to the bathroom. And I don't care if there's a boat 10 foot around. He just did not care. And I've had other people that literally, they would hold it all day long or they would have to have a, a, a regular restroom to go to or they just wouldn't go. So anyway, let's get some tips and advice on what to do here. Um, first of all, let's talk about if you, if you have to go number two because that's the real challenge on that. I'm gonna give you some tips and advice on situations with that if you have to, if you're in a situation where you can't get to the bank and sometimes you are um, the best way to do it is to hang it off the side of the boat I mean that don't try to go off the back of the boat or something like that if you go off the side of the boat where the passenger is there's usually a little flat part of the boat there where you can just set down sort of like a toilet and you know do your business with that it's no problem ideally you know if you go to the bank you know you can get away you can have a little bit more privacy um, if you don't have if you're in an emergency situ situation and you don't have toilet paper uh, you can always use leaves up there uh, probably the best way which a lot of people don't seem to realize is the best way is water is probably the best way to clean yourself off if you're in a situation like that so ideally uh, you know ideally you want the privacy but sometimes you don't those are the two best scenarios. I've had some funny stories, guys, and some people that that, oh, that I've seen myself and people that, you know, pros of mine that have uh, had situations like that. There was there was this one guy, he was, uh, this has been, God, 25 years ago. He was telling me that he just got this new boat and, um, you know, one of his, I don't know if it was, I guess it was, yeah, both of these were co-anglers. 
anyway, he, at the end of the day, I guess this co-angler had to use the bathroom. Said he goes, he goes, man, I I got to the bathroom. I'm gonna go to the bathroom back here. And my, the pro didn't pay much attention. And I guess he got back that evening, and the, his co-angler had left a little present for him in the splash well back there. Like he, I don't know if he intentionally did that. And another dude one time had a present left in his live well, like that. Like he thought that's the only place he could possibly go. But I've never had anything happen like that. But in a situation like that, like I said, it's, it's an ideal situation if you can get, uh, you know, just to the bank somewhere. And same deal if you've got to go number one, if you got to pee. Uh, now, I'll say one thing about peeing, guys. A, lo a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with this, a lot of people are uncomfortable even peeing in front of somebody. So I think one of the things that's really important, like I just said, is you've got to respect everybody's level of privacy when it comes to something like this because it is a personal issue. Um, if, you know, most people, like I said, unless you've got a bunch of people in the boat or if you're fishing with two different sexes with that, they'll just, you know, get into a little private area and pee over at the side of the boat. Some people have to get down on their knees if, it's, if the boat's rocking a lot, which is no problem with that. The old adage said, "Don't you don't want to pee in the wind. You do not want to pee in the wind. Always try to pee with the wind with that. But that's usually not that much of a, of a problem there. Now, I have fished with uh, probably five or six different women in tournaments as far as I drew them out in the, in the tournaments. And um, I, I think that out of the five or six I fished, about 90% of them, and I, I guess it's just because you, you're two different sexes, they didn't go, they didn't pee all day long. And I had a couple of them say, well, I'm not gonna drink anything today because I don't wanna pee. And I said, don't worry about that. I will take you to the bank. Don't worry about that, it's not a problem. I had two of them that actually like uh, peed in a cup and, and you know got rid of it but the other ones just like were uncomfortable and they didn't want to do that so um, I always offer to take them to the bank and <clears throat> especially if there's some type of a marina they can go in and use the bathroom with that but anyway guys <clears throat> it's gonna it's an issue it's a reality in fishing you know it's every single day you're gonna have to probably deal with that I mean some people have to go more than others main thing guys is just don't feel you know, don't feel awkward about it. Put yourself in a in a comfortable position with that, and uh, just uh, just one of those parts of fishing. So anyway, uh, shoot me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. We'll talk later.